What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Kicklahoma YouTube channel. We're here at the airport today, about a jump flight. You already see the name of the video. Go ahead and, you already know it's gonna be a crazy video. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe for me, and come see me at Kicklahoma. Come get you some of that bird merch, you heard? Come get you some hoodies, beanies, masks, we got it all. Shout out to my boy Ray's in the bar, scooped up about, what, eight masks right before the holidays for his people. But uh, let's see where we headed. Just landed in Chicago. It is January the 6th, 2021. I have came to an agreement with the, the person that I'm buying this pair of shoes of that I will wait off on posting this video, so I don't know when this video will get around. But as you can see, there was snow on the ground. Um, I knew it was gonna be a little cold. I didn't know it was gonna be that cold. But nonetheless, we're here in Chicago, um, waiting to get picked up. Um, and then we are headed to Chase Bank to work on this transaction. And I will tell you guys a little bit later on why I bought the shoe, what I, I'm actually paying for it as opposed to what I paid for it. And then just kind of give you some intel on what you can do yourself uh, to build your bank up. But let me find ground transportation and then we will get back to you guys. This right here, guys, is called uh, getting picked up in style. Right here. Um, the grand prize. Well, guys, my time is short and sweet here in Chicago. I'm back at the airport on the way home. Uh, my battery is about to die. Uh, once I get home tonight, I'll give you guys more information on what I got. I mean. my one day round trip to Chicago. Battery's about down the camera, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this now, I'm gonna charge up. Tomorrow I'm gonna give you guys a little intel on some of my KD collection, and then we're gonna jump into the pair that I got. That way you guys can see how it all ties in. For now, I am gassed, it's been a long traveling day, and I'm gonna get some sleep. So we will see you tomorrow in the unseen KD room at my house, since I just moved. Can't wait to show you guys some of those pairs. So we will see you guys tomorrow, or in a couple seconds, however way you look at it. All right guys, day two, like I told you yesterday, we did all the traveling to Chicago. You haven't seen the shoe yet, but before we get to that, I wanna show you guys some of the most expensive KDs in my collection. I just moved in July, I haven't really shown off the room yet because I've been waiting for some stuff, but before we show you this shoe, we gotta show you some of the other stuff in there. So let's go on into the KD room only and let's take a look and see at some of the other pairs.
guys, we are in the KD only room. Now in here, every GR you could think of, IDs, samples, PEs, prototypes, stuff you've never seen before. I'm about to show you right here. And this is gonna lead us up to the big, the bad wolf. You see the title of the video, we're gonna get there. But first I wanna show you guys some of the more rare pieces, the more expensive pieces in my collection. And then we'll, we'll start numerically. We'll start, we'll actually start pre KD um, at the KD uh, flights and stuff like that. And we'll work our way all the way around this room from one to the twos to the sevens, all the way through until we get to the 13s. I even got some 13s you might have not seen. Um, definitely probably haven't seen them on foot. So let's jump on to the pre KDs. First two shoes we are looking at are the Nike Sweet Viz KDs. Now these are from 2007. I just actually was able to purchase these in uh, 2019. Both brand new. Um, I did pay $800 a piece on these. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna be able to wear them um, without this crumbling. So these actually might not ever hit my, my feet, unfortunately, just because I bought them so late. Um, and they're, they're, they're dead stock, they're brand new. So unfortunately, these might not ever see my feet, but you do not see these at all. Um, you can already see cracking happening there. Um, so I'm just afraid if I actually wear these, these are just gonna crack within the midsole. So these might just be a, a form of art at this point in time. These were my most expensive KDs. At one point in time recently. The uh, KD2 Velvet Hoop. PE. Um, it was based off of a uh, House of Hoops commercial that they did. Uh, crazy, crazy insoles there. Velvet hoop across the strap. Um, at one point, these were available brand new for like $3,500. I ended up buying them $2,200 for $2,200 after the guy had worn them once. After KD left, obviously people started dumping KDs in Oklahoma and I took advantage of that market. So a bargain per se on the shoe. Uh, the KD2 Velvet Hoop. All right, guys, you guys know what these are. The KD4s, the Weathermans, the Nerfs. Uh, two pair of Weathermans, I think I paid like 800 bucks. Um, trying to find another brand new pair just to keep brand new. The Nerf, I was very, very patient with the Nerf. The Nerf at one point went for $3,100, $3,500. I was able to cop them for $1,200, brand new box, ball, net, rim. Uh, so patience, sometimes patience with these shoes. Uh, $1,200 dead stock for nerves. I know now they go for about that. It hasn't really changed a lot over time. Um, definitely a nice colorway. You guys have seen both of my car, my last two Jeeps wrapped in this colorway. These colorways um, definitely have given bright looks and a lot of looks throughout the streets. But I'm gonna show you the KD4s that are actually more than these two. The KD4 Wanda Pratt. Now this is this is one of those very very limited friends and family only KD4s, and I got other samples and stuff that I will show you that aren't quite as expensive. I wanted to go through a little bit and touch on each model, um, and at some point we'll do a full tour video. But the KD4, the Wanda Pratt, no KD logo there on the back. Lucky Sevens on the front. Friends and family. That means probably 18 pairs max. Max maybe less than that um definitely a loud 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 shoe to wear i guess while we're at it we'll go ahead and touch on that uh kd4 epiphany prince wnba pe uh i know i've seen people pay anywhere of 15 to 2000 for this i was patient enough and i copped this at like 700 bucks once it went down in price kd5 away pe so this is actually something he would have worn in the game. This was the general released KD5 away, but this, you see the blend on the midsole, you see the ins or you see the insole with the camo print, you see the blend here on the midsole, not the insole. Uh, you kind of have like a glitter look there. I'm not really sure if the camera be able to pick it up. Um, but these, um, at one point, this was my most expensive KD. This was 600 bucks and it kind of, I was like, dang, 600 bucks for a KD5, but again, an encore type of shoe that he would have wore. Um, got the whole school, the prep school pack mixed in here. Um, oh no. Ooh, two pairs, two pairs. Brand new, don't have to wear it. Got the other one that's already had wear to the foot. We also do have the white pair, which is actually downstairs at the time. It needs to be cleaned up from the last wear. Um, and the 
this one ended up all the way up here. Just kind of going to give you a sneak peek on this one. KD5. Mm, that's different from your typical KD5. We'll get to this one in the tour video. Um, just grab that pretty cheap. And again, the point of this video is kind of highlight some of the more expensive KDs. 800 bucks. There's the uh, the white pair of it. Another Encore, one that he would have worn. Camo, camo, spotted, splattered, whatever you want to call it. Midsole. KD5. KD6 does feature two of my most expensive pairs. I got them stashed all the way here at the bottom for now. We'll start off with the one I wore to Chicago to pick up the other pair, the KD6 Velvet Hoop, which does go along with that too. Um, paid $2,100, brand new in my size. Um, very, very nice shoe. I like the very, very metallic look. The colors are bright on it. The uh, KD6 Velvet Hoop. Right next to it is the KD6 Wanda Pratt PE. So the four Wanda Pratt, the six Wanda Pratt. Um, Leo, who is Katie's designer, told us that uh, one day she was wearing this this pendant or this this necklace, and that's how they based this PE off of. So again, maybe 18 pairs of these, um, friends and family only. I was able to come across a pair in my size. And the last one of the KD6, which at one point the KD6 career high 54 point PE from when he scored 54 against the Denver Nuggets. A, uh, a gold mix there with like a, a, a weird colored green. I don't really know what the green is, is called here, but um, again, another shoe about 10 to 12 pairs. At one point, I paid $800 for this. This was like my first, first shoe over 500 bucks. And I was like, ooh, like, do I really want to do it? And it's so hard to wear with things, but K6. KD8 prototype. That's not how your typical KD8 looks. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but definitely another dope piece to have. Um, just for the fact that, you know, the KD8 ended up being released like that and not like that. So this was a prototype, a couple of different changes on the tongue. I've shown this, this shoe a couple of times. So just thought we'd give it a little mention in there. I know I paid a little bit for that. The most expensive eight though. KD8 Elite, Yukon. Probably came from the women's team, but Yukon Elite 8, I paid like $800 for these. This guy had these on eBay for like $2,000 for about two years, and I shot an offer, and, and he accepted it that one time. So sometimes you just gotta shoot your shot, especially when stuff's sitting on eBay for a long, long time. All right, guys, this is the last KD that we're gonna feature. Before we get to that main event, plenty of samples, PEs, stuff that I skipped, but the last one we're gonna touch base on, the KD10 skills academy so that might remind you a lot of 2k don't really know what kind of attributes you guys are picking up nowadays on 2k i haven't really had much time for 2k myself but i did pay 800 dollars for these got these and the paul georges together haven't worn the kds yet we'll get around to it at some point obviously we buy our shoes to wear them but that concludes basically like the top 10 or so most expensive kds we're about to sit down now we're about to look at the heavy hitter the big boy the grand finale and at last we sit here for the part three of this video the one you guys have been wanting to see some of you guys uh possibly may have been able to put two and two together you know, maybe, or maybe you haven't. I mean, either way, we're still gonna look at this shoe from back to end, front to back, back to front, side to side. Um, wanna go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and do this now because I know some of you guys will probably tune out, but I did say at the very beginning, I would explain to you how to get to this point as far as spending over $20,000 for something. Um, for me, um, through 2020, I have looked into different investments, have played with stocks a little bit, have tried to find different sources of income, all legal, all legal, um, just so that I don't put all of my, 
how do you say all my eggs in one basket i took note into the stock game heavy um, especially being at home a lot throughout this year or throughout 2020 and you know it took me thirty two hundred dollars to make over this twenty thousand dollars for this shoe so it's not necessarily like i just you know worked and saved the over twenty thousand dollars and i'm gonna keep continue to say over twenty thousand um, dollars to respect of the the seller we have come to an agreement where i'm not going to say the number out publicly um just know for me it's worth it's worth every penny um and for others you know yeah i could have did a lot of other things with the money but i've done a lot through 2020 done a lot of helping out took care of everybody around me took care of those that i didn't know took care of random people you know i did different things so this one was for me this one this one is you know this is what i work my butt off for and again it wasn't you know me saving the over twenty thousand dollars it was me you know having different investments stocks um that i was just able to cash out on um so i want to begin by thanking mr air kenny himself kw one two seven zero i believe i'll have it here in the uh bottom here check him out lots of dope sneakers in his collection very great with the camera work um a very well knowledgeable respectable individual i've seen his displays for a couple of years now and they are awesome he has a lot of stuff that you would just like to see in person i saw this shoe in person about four years ago didn't quite realize it was my size it's not his size which is one of the reasons he says he was willing to let it go so i'm sure now with those nice funds he's going to go and buy a couple of pieces in his size Thank you again, Mr. Eric Kenny. Um, this shoe came to the to the right home, probably the only place that it would be much appreciated of. Um, so let's let's jump into what's in the bag. Let's jump what's into the bag. I know you guys have waited patiently. Thank you again. Um, if you haven't, go ahead, like and subscribe. I'll throw that one more time something different than what you see on everybody else's feed people were like dude you could buy off-white this jordan this dior this red october's guess what everybody has that type of stuff and yes it's cool to have but for me come on man come on man the kds you know that's where i'm at so you know this is a kd you know this is a kd but what kd could it be what K D could it be? Oh my Jesus, people. The holy grail of KDs. It does not get better than this. Everybody's favorite KD silhouette, the KD4. What the now to my understanding and my count, there are three pairs of these. One is an 18 that has been on display before in Oklahoma City. One is a size nine that belongs to the designer himself, Mr. Leo Chang. And there's a third size nine that now sits in Oklahoma City and completes what is our no doubt about it sorry to say it the greatest kd collection you'll ever see in one sitting is right here in this room this has been a turning point for me and my sneaker paths and ways because it set me apart a very very long time ago 
and you know through hard work doing other things and you know being out there and being reached it has put me in a lot of great places um work wise etc etc the kd4 what the three pairs two nines and an 18. you guys can guess who the 18 belongs to many some of you here in oklahoma city probably saw that shoe in 2014 um, at an event that I hosted. I'll put some pictures over here. KD showed up, it was crazy. Signed autographs for about 20 minutes straight and then had to peel out that back door. Um, man, this is something, this is, you've seen, yes, what the LeBrons, you've seen what the Kobe's, we've seen what the KD's, but we we haven't seen this one obviously releasing masses of any sorts and hopefully it never does it might be a little heartbreaking if it does but if it does i know that i have one of the original three so let's let's take a look at this amazing beautiful shoe well, we begin with the left shoe so we'll go through and i counted earlier nine different colorways represent the shoe at the time they weren't really doing a lot of colorways the way they do them now uh, so we have Easter, that Easter mint, Easter mint over the top. You got pink laces for the Aunt Pearl, Galaxy or All-Star Fours, midsole, midsole shank. You have the scoring title, strap, obviously the Nerf. Weatherman, the sock liner is the year of the dragon tongue all-star inside of the tongue you have the scoring title galaxy or all-star soul i don't know if we touched that but the tongue there all-star as well on the right shoe you got pink for aunt pearl Green laces from the Weatherman, Year of the Dragon Strap, Scoring Title 4. Again, uh, well, this one you have the uh, Nerf, Nerf Midsole, Nerf Midsole Shank, Weatherman Outsole, Nerf Shank there as well, Gold Metal, Tongue. Weatherman sock liner, all star sock liner. Not really sure if you're going to be able to see that, but that is the um, pinkish with the gold um, insole, which is off the KD4 Weatherman. This one has the Galaxy. You can't really see it. Man, this shoe is so beautiful, guys. This shoe is so beautiful. Look at that. I mean, to have it in here, like, you know, there was slight discussions that she was headed in a different direction. I'm glad I was able to get it. I inquired about the shoe a couple years ago. It was 17,000 at that time. I wasn't able to jump on it at that time. Wow, just wow, wow, wow. Whenever I was purchasing them, he says, are you gonna wear them? I said, absolutely, yes, I'm going to wear them. I would not spend that kind of money and not wear them. The reason I'm inquiring about buying these shoes is because they fit me. I'm not gonna buy nothing that doesn't fit me. You know, if I'm buying it, I'm buying it to wear it. I'm not hoarding it. Wow. I know some of the looks that these are gonna get and that's not why I do it but I know I'm gonna get asked a lot of questions about it but this is this is like anything else guys this is shoes are a form of art that we get to express with others on our feet I'm like not speechless for words but I just 
you know, I'm I'm still in all that I, I was able to get this shoe. You know, this is a shoe I've seen on the internet for, you know, ever since I've seen it in person. I've seen this shoe for five years. Oh, seven years. I saw this shoe in 2014, October 4th, 2014. I saw this shoe in person. And since then, I've seen it, you know, circulate online. And I've seen it at a couple of different events. This is not something I thought I would own. I'm very thankful for owning it. Um, you know, shout out to the couple of people that have helped me, um, that kind of got me started in the right way on my stocks and investments. And, you know, I've paid attention to that. So, you know, pay attention, um, and always look to, you know, progress. Um, thank you guys for, for tuning in. I know this video stretched out to be a little longer than, uh, expected, but every single part of it is, is, was an important piece. I can't wait till I get this room complete and I can do some kind of collection video. Can't wait to get these shoes on foot and 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 show, you know, just wear them to events and stuff. I know there's gonna be questions and stuff like that. People wanna take pictures, cool. I'm all for it. Um, I will represent that KD brand. I mean, the KD, I mean, it's, ch it's changed me, you know, business-wise and stuff like that, opportunity-wise. Um, and it's just something that I enjoy. It's something completely different. You know, I don't go to an event and wear the same shoes that everybody else is wearing. And you're gonna see something on my foot that nobody else is gonna have. Cause I'm not pulling out the nerfs and the weatherman's and stuff like that. I'm pulling out PEs and samples and different stuff like that. Stuff that I enjoy. Um, so find, you know, find something you like. And if you like wearing the off whites, the easy stuff like that, that's, that's not a bad thing either. That's not a bad thing either. But thank you everybody for tuning in like and subscribe there's more to come share this video show somebody show somebody something different um and you know for everybody out there watching that says man i wish i could i could do that you can do this you, you know you can you can save you can work you can do this just like everybody else my shoes go on the same way um as your shoes go on toes first heels second my pants go on the same way feet first pull them up to the waist you can do it you know put time, effort, energy into it, and you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. Thank you guys for the support. 2021 is going to be a great year. This is definitely a great way to start it. We will see you guys soon. I'm going to try to stay consistent with the videos. This year. It's tough, guys. We got a lot, I got a lot going on. I got a crazy schedule, um, but I will see you guys on the next one, hopefully sooner than later. Again, thank you for the support. Subscribe. Until then, I'm out. I am out. I am out. Peace.